Look at this glorious ass sight right here, bro. Oh my, like two more of them. Holy sh Dude, I feel like a dealer, man. I just got all these lined up and shit. Man. And it gets even worse when you head over right here, dude. I mean, we even got the new flavors. Anyway, what's going on, guys? It is Max. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a very different video for you, but this one's informal, bro. Info I mean, informative. Hold on, bro. But basically, I'm showing you how to get massive forms, bro. I mean, like, you want, like, massive forms. You want those veiny forms. I'm that guy for that, all right? I'm, I'm here to let y'all know how to do it. It's very easy, all right? So, dude, it is mad dark in here. Let me get some light. Anyway. Yo, why'd it get darker, bro? Hold on. Yo, it's pristine lighting, yo. I know my camera's all set up now, so I'm gonna put you on to the method. So I got arms today, but I'm gonna show you how to get those big forms first. So first off, all right, I'm not lying to you, all right? As you can see, I have some pretty uh, large forms compared to your average kid my age. And first off, that's genetics, all right? There's a good amount of genetics involved with, you know, forearms. Because if you look at my wrists, I have little baby wrists, all right? It's like a genetic cheat code for some reason. And when you have these combined and you put your, like, forearms up, as you can see, they look a lot bigger than your hands. It's all about that illusion, proportion, all that good shit. What? But anyway, I'm gonna get to the real stuff real quick. So I'm giving you a quick little weight and uh, I'll show you what this worth. All right, look. These are 15 pounds right here because these are like example weight. I don't have the right weight right now. All that good what? shit is at the gym. So I need to go still today. So what you're gonna be doing though, first off, all right, is I wouldn't even recommend using these to be honest with you, all right? You can definitely find some better alternatives with a barbell, you know, that little big ass bar. That little big ass bar, that makes no sense. But look, what you're gonna start off by doing is taking this with your wrist. Are you put your hands all the way down? I'll show you in a sec. And you like you take your wrist and you just curl the bar or the barbell, no, what? dumbbell, upwards. Like I'll show you when I put this down. See, I'm right here, and you'll see that. Serious, shut the fuck up. Then you just take your arm and literally just move your wrist only. All right, just your wrist, and you curl it upwards. And if you don't feel the tension in your forearm, you're not doing it right. Like, I literally feel my forearms already getting pumped up from just that. And for weight, I do 50 pounds with that. You can do a lighter weight if you want. I've been, you know, getting used to the movement for a while. But then, I'll put an image on the screen of the barbell version that we're going to do. And this is like hit your front, because you can't just hit only the back. You have to hit the very front as well. So we find something that, re like, resembles a barbell. All right, this might be our barbell for uh, today. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's not going to work, dude. We got a broom here. So you see how I have the broom? What you're gonna wanna do with your barbell is put your hands like close to each other, all right? I use like a 60 or a 70 for this. So I weigh 168 pounds. Just kind of do the ratios right, find out your weight and you'll be fine. Put your hands close to each other and you're gonna put your arms out almost. Not like this, but just like out in front of you, just a really small amount, all right? And then you're just gonna move your wrists only and bring it in and bring it back up only moving your wrists and you will feel your front forearms literally burning they'll be falling off dude. it's amazing and that's how you hit the very front of your forearm now lastly the very last bit you're gonna find a straight grip on your you know your cable machine and you're gonna put your cable to like the highest setting possible all right and you're gonna do you you can call us whatever you want all right this this can be an interesting position you know like a little cat and you're gonna just lock your arms in and just take the bar and just mainly curl your wrist downwards. And bro, if you don't feel the wicked pump, you're, you're basically flexing your forearm by doing it regularly. If you don't feel that, then you're doing it wrong, all right? There's nothing else to it. The next time I do it in a video, I'll show you, but if you want it right now, like my best example, I'll get the broom real quick. Choose a pretty filthy weight, all right? You don't want to choose some sort of lightweight. And uh, you just take it, all right? You go close up. There are, your grip's gonna be a lot smaller than this. This is kind of out of proportion. And you're just gonna go like this. And look, you can literally see my forearms getting pumped from just doing that in itself. Like, those are veins, bro. That's not Photoshop. But the secret, though, like always, is make sure you're working them out consistently. You aren't skipping your days. Don't lose your mind if you skip a day. But definitely keep in mind that you're going to get those results the fastest if you just hit it at least two to three times a week. All right? You don't need to hit it every day. I know some people who do. They got big forearms, but I don't think it's necessary. But to be quite honest with you though, the harsh truth is that a lot of it is genetics. Like I showed you earlier, my wrists are kind of small. So when I go like this, the front of my forearm is just way bigger than my wrist, my hand. My hands are small. I also have big palms on my hand too. So that's just to keep in mind. I'm putting this back. So unfortunately, I like broke my tripod a little bit. 
Like, I'll show you. So I was like recording a video like always. It was actually the last video I did, the one before this. See how all these have like a little thing at the end, like the little black part, all right? This one just does not have it. And I can't fully extend this thing anymore. And the max height on this is like 5'2". So now it's like 4'11". So I guess we're sticking with this for now. This video is going to be hella short though because I can't film like the actual gym right now because I got to get this video out today. I posted on my Snapchat story. Please go and follow that, all right? I got a few surprises coming out pretty soon. I hope you watch this far in the video. If you do, comment the word, uh, Wait. Comment the word forearm, bro. I don't know. Just comment something. And also, let me know, all right? I'm going to buy a new pre-workout soon. I don't know the best one to get, to be honest with you. And I'm thinking about bucked up, but I don't even know if bucked up's like that good anymore, to be honest. But I've definitely tried it, and it's good. But I feel like there's better out there. So let me know in the comments. I'll take your advice. Anyway, though, thank you all so much for watching this short little video. I had to get it out pretty fast. I have a good-ass video coming up soon. My like the videos are always the best ones. So I'll get it like the end for you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and watch the next video when it comes out. Peace out. See you later.